And whoa, what is that? Oh my gosh, I never had a hummingbird come up that close. <laughs> Sacramento wilding out here, y'all. Um Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Julie. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel conversations with sunflower i wanted to make a quick video on my experience with the epidural and um the doctor inducing my labor so throughout the video you guys will see different pictures and clips that were taken by my doula inside of my um delivery room and i also want to share um her information i will link her social media accounts down in the description box if you're looking for someone to take your baby pictures if you need postpartum care or if you're in need or want a doula she's the right person to contact her name is jessica and like i said i'll link her information below so without further ado let's get into the pictures and i'll share my experience okay so i just want to start off by saying everyone kept asking me am i going to get the epidural it was really overwhelming and annoying i'm not even gonna lie so if you're watching this video and you're not pregnant but you know any family members that's pregnant or your friends that's pregnant just try to ease up off them especially if they're first time moms because it can it's nerve-wracking and we don't know if we're gonna get the epidural or not because we don't know how contractions feel just yet so i would just stand back i'm gonna say this as politely as possible just let them have some space let give them time to think about what they want to do um during my pregnancy i watched one epidural video and i was it was terrifying i was so scared after i watched it and i literally watched that video i think i was in my third trimester and seeing that long needle and everything it terrified me so i don't recommend watching epidural videos um while you're pregnant like once the doctor roll in if you choose to get the epidural and once the doctor come in um to give you the epidural shot um you're not going to be able to see anything he's not going to show you any needle or anything because it can be intimidating moving on even though majesty was turned head down i did not dilate not one centimeter um, Majesty was a week late. By the time I reached 41 weeks, my fluids were becoming low and the doctor called me in to be induced. The doctor tried three methods of inducements. Chow, y'all, three. But the first one, they gave me a pill and made me put it inside of my mouth to dissolve. They checked after two to three hours to see if I dilated. I didn't. So they gave me another pill and did the same procedure and after three hours i didn't dilate so <laughs> you can i was so frustrated i'm just like i want this baby out of me my back was hurting he was super heavy and yeah he was head down but he was chilling he was comfortable so the second method the doctor asked me would I be okay with them putting a balloon inside of me? Not an actual balloon, y'all, okay? Anywho, after explaining to me, he told me that he could give me some pain meds through my IV to help me. At this point, I still had not dilated, and I wasn't feeling contractions, nor had my water broke. I was tired and nervous. They gave me the pain meds to cope with the balloon, and they put it inside of me. Yes, I still felt it, and it was hella uncomfortable. Even when the doctor came to check my cervix, I would start crying. Like, it was painful. It literally feels like they are sticking their entire arm inside of your vagina. So, try relaxing through that. During the balloon method, I believe I dilated a couple centimeters, but not enough for me. The doctors then proceed to inform me about Pitocin, and I agreed to it. At this point, I was ready to get this show on the road. Soon after they put the Pitocin through my IV, I started feeling contractions. They were hell, y'all. Hell. I'm not trying to scare you. This is my experience. 
the contractions were hell to me. <laughs> okay, I'm done saying hell. Anyways, at first I was screaming and every time I felt one coming, I started to cry. My mom and my mom, husband and mother-in-law and even my doula were all in there massaging me and letting me squeeze their hands and trying to keep me calm as possible. The doctor came in like an hour or so after to check if I had dilated and I did. I was so happy, but I wasn't dilated enough for them to give me the epidural. The pain was excruciating to me. I was feeling contractions in my stomach and my lower back that shot down through my butt. I was uncomfortable sitting. I was uncomfortable laying on my back. I was uncomfortable laying on my sides. I couldn't take the pain. Soon as the doctor said I was dilated to about seven centimeters, I told him to bring the doc in there and give me that epidural. And I was not playing y'all like, I don't, I don't, honestly, I probably screamed at him, but I don't know. At the same time, I was pretty calm um, when between contractions. So yeah, the doctor rolled in and he was very friendly. I didn't see anything, nor did I feel anything as far as the needle goes. People were telling me, oh, girl, it's going to burn when they inject you and you're going to feel this and that. I didn't. The only thing I was feeling were those contractions shooting through my ass. Excuse my language. But we're going to keep it real, y'all. And I had to try my hardest to sit still through it in order for the doctor to give me the epidural. I was screaming through the contractions. Ugh. Soon after the epidural was given to me, I went completely numb from the waist down. I did feel some discomfort every now and then when I contracted. But they had a little button that I could press and um, I guess it would give me more medicine for the epidural and I was good. But for the most part, I was able to sleep for a few hours. My doctor came back in to check how far I had dilated and my water my water ended up breaking all over him while he was checking. Majesty's heart rate slowed down and the doctors had to shift my body to the side. My legs were freaking dead, y'all. I couldn't even lift them. So that was uncomfortable because I kept trying to lift my legs even though they were numb as ever. His heart rate became steady, and soon after that, it was time to push finally, and he made his entrance into the world after 28 hours of labor and 90 minutes of pushing. I do wish you could feel how hard you were pushing while on the epidural because I gave myself hemorrhoids. My booty felt like a ton of bricks for a couple weeks. It was horrible. However, to answer the infamous question, no, I do not suffer with any back spasms or pain after getting the epidural. I'm living my best life, child. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So I hope that my experience will shine a light on... I hope my experience were able... Many ticks later were able I hope this video was helpful yes thank you <laughs> gosh I'm just a simple gal thank you I hope my video was helpful to you guys please let me know if you have any questions about my experience I'm willing to answer pretty much anything about birth and labor um, comment below and subscribe to this channel, like this video, and I'll talk to y'all later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then any time you step in at the place, if you stand up upright and pattern upright, make sure everything nice.